Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Mirna, Luis. Well, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Mauricio. Teacher. Mauricio Perez and Mauricio Larcón, right? Welcome. Hello, Thank Larissa. You. How are you? Larissa? How Hello. Are you? Fine. Thank you. <laughs> Pleasure to see you. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you. Sorry, I, I come two minutes late, but I was explaining something to the other group, right? Estaba explicándole unos puntos al otro grupo, así que me conecté un poquito tarde. Me conecté tarde. Ok. Uh, ok, Mirna, no tenía internet. No worry. Aquí está con nosotros, ¿verdad, Mirna? No hay problema. Welcome, Mirna. Ok, now. Uh, let me see, we're going to start. Uh, the review, the review, right? Okay, the review of the platform. Let me check. Okay. Just give me a second here. Like this. And let's start with this. Okay. Yes, we are here. Conversation, I really like pop music. Pop, pop, pop music, right? Okay, let's go to the conversation. And we're going to practice the conversation, right? Here we go. Okay, now. Listen, please, listen. In the discussion box, I want you to share with us what kind of music. Lesson participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Welcome to our section four. Do you like rap? To begin our class, I want you to pay close attention to the following conversation. Notice how they ask questions using do and how they answer. Again, this conversation introduces us to simple present. I really like pop music. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. On the discussion box, I want you to share with us what kind of music do you listen to? Or... Okay, now let's practice the conversation, right? Let's practice the conversation. Listen, please. Over here. Here, right? Okay, now, please, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. I think, think, I know him. Link sound, right? Know him. Does he play the piano? Does he play the piano? The piano. No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. I don't know much about rap. I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? 
I really like pop music. I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Who's your favorite singer? Celine de Young. I love her voice. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay, now listen to the to the audio and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. Give me a second here. Just a second. Here, right? Okay, now. To like Listen and repeat, please. To begin our class, I want you to pay close attention to the following conversation. Notice how they ask questions using do and how they answer. Again, this conversation introduces us to simple present. I really like pop music. Do you like... Repeat, please. Repeat. Oh, give me a second here. Okay. Do you like rap, Liz? Come on, repeat. Repeat, everybody. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh. I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay, thank you. I need volunteers to practice this conversation. I need a Tom and I need a Liz, right? Volunteers, please, to practice the I conversation. Uh -huh, yes? Shut up. Okay, wait. Give me, give me your name, please. Marvin, right? Marvin Louis. Marvin. Louis. Louis, sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me, Marvin. Louis, Louis. Now I have this in my memory. Louis. Okay, Marvin, uh, you are Tom, right? And who was saying Liz? Who was saying Liz? Me. Me. Who is me? Abby. Abby. Thank you, Abby. Thank you, Abby. So you are Liz, right? Now, okay. ready? One, two, three. Do you like do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I am a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like it, pop music very much. Congratulations, come on, Marvin. And, and Abby, you, you are good actors, eh? <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, I need two more volunteers. Two more volunteers, just tell me your name, please. Tell me your name. I need a Tom. Other Tom, please, in the class. Me, teacher, Mauricio. Mauricio Alarcón. No, Perez. Perez, okay, Mauricio Perez. You are Tom? 
Now I need a list. A girl, please. I need a girl. Girls? Christina, Femenino. Teacher. Ah, I'm sorry. Who? Um, me, teacher, Christina. Christina. Thank you, Christina. Now, Christina, you are Liz, right? Ready? Ladies yes. and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California. One, two, three. Uh, do you like do you like rap, please? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I am a big fan of any man. I think I know him. Does he play the play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He is a singer. Oh, I guess I don't I don't know much about rap. So what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't love I don't like pop music very much. Thank you very much, Abby and Mauricio. Thank you very much. Good pronunciation too. Yes, I like it, right? Now let's continue. Um, oh, I have more volunteers. Okay, alguien más practicarlo? No? Okay. So let's continue. Let's continue, right? Now we're going to read the commentary, right? Commentaries, commentaries, commentaries. Oh, I have many, right? Congratulations. Hoy sí me han comentado. Oh, man. Thank you. Now, it says, do you like pop music? Aquí se no pone una S de mapa, pero está bien. Yeah. I love it. Un puntito aquí. Which singers do you like? I like Michael Jackson. My goodness. Thriller, thriller. Michael Jackson. Yes. He was the king of pop. Yes. That's nice, right? Good. I like Michael Jackson. Video, right? Aquí no falta un puntito nada más. Thank you very much. Now, Cristina. Nice, right? Cristina said, do you like pop music? No, I don't like it. Oh, come on. Cristina, eh? a Cristina no le gusta mucho el pop. What kind of music do you listen? I listen to bachata. Oh, nice. Really? I like it. Bachata, etc., etc. bachata is nice. But no reggaeton, Cristina. Only bachata. Okay, now, another one, right? Aquí no pusieron su nombre, pero vamos a leerlo. I like pop music, rock and roll, and baladas, rock and rolls, the Beatles, Elvis, the king, right? Rock and roll, yes, yeah. Silvia. Okay. Silvia Hernandez, right? Let me see, Silvia. What kind of music? Yes, ¿Qué le faltó aquí al final, Silvia? ¿Qué le faltó al final aquí en la pregunta, Silvita? El, el signo de interrogación no, y ahí yeah. puse yo y el you, pero fue error de escritura. Don't worry, don't worry, right? I like romantic music. Oh, Silvia is romantic. My goodness. That's nice, right? <laughs> Thank you. Now, Josabet. Very good. Thank you for your commentary, Josabet. I listen to any kind of music. Cualquier clase de música le gusta, Josabet. Thank you very much. Eh, me imagino que hasta de Vicente Fernández disfruta alguna que otra, ¿verdad? Now, but I really like piano music. Oh, Richard Spiderman, Mozart, Beethoven, Bach, Chopin. Very good, yo sabe, good music. And my favorite song is River Flows in You. River Flows in You. I don't know. Nunca he escuchado esta canción, pero se ve algo así como romántica, right? River Flows in You. Ahí después nos dice, yo sabe cuál canción es. Ok, nice. Thank you very much for your commentaries. Thank you very much. I like it. Now we're going to go to the um, video of Yes, No Question. Ok. Yes, No Question and Information Question, is it, right? Answering. Be able to ask questions in simple present using do and does along with WH question words. We will get ready to ask two types of questions yes no questions and WH questions. On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries as we go over them. 
Remember, we use these auxiliaries for simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Yes, no, and WH questions with do. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Who do they like? They like you too. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It. Us. Them. Did you notice both auxiliaries? Do and does? Do. Does. Did you notice the changes that occurred when we used the auxiliary in a question for third person singular? Does he play the piano? If not, play the video again until you understand it. Keep in mind that whenever we use does, the verb goes back to its base form. Something I want you to understand is when the question being asked uses a WH question word, it means we need more information when answering. In this class, as already mentioned, we're talking about two kinds of questions. Check it out. Do you like Madonna? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What does she sing? She sings pop music. Okay. That is the video, right? And uh, now we will practice this, but let me let me check a little bit. What kind of music do you like? Okay, class, listen. Remember last class we were practicing yes, no question, and information question, right? Notice the structure. In yes, no question, the auxiliary, the subject, and the verb. The question, right? And in uh, yes, no question. And then information question is WH word, uh, auxiliary do, subject, and verb, right? And sometimes they complement. In this case, not, right? Good. So in this case, we only have a yes or no. But in information question, you have some specific information. What kind of music? Rock. Does he play the piano? Yes or no? What does he play? Uh, he plays the guitar. So what? Do you like the bill? Yes or no? Right? Who do they like? Ah, who? When I say who, it's people. So they like you too. You do it, people, right? Okay. And we were practicing the object pronoun. Remember in English, most sentences, we have the subject, el que hace la acción, right? The subject, right? And the object, the ones that receive the action. The subject makes the action, the object receives the action. So in this case, for example, I say, uh, like it. It is the object pronoun. I is the subject, it is the object pronoun. Notice, sujeto, I, verbo, like, y objeto, it, right? And in this case, the object is a pronoun. Pero en este caso, el objeto, en lugar de decir rap, Vamos a poner, poner, perdón, un of the pronoun. En este caso es it, right? Okay. The Beatles. They love the Beatles. But substitution for the Beatles, we use them. The of the pronoun, them. Okay? So instead of say they love the Beatles, we say we love them. The of the pronoun. The subject is they. The verb is love, and the object is them. Subject, verb, and pronoun, right? Okay. Now, uh, we're going to review the use of yes, no question, and information question. And I will show you the, I will show you the, the PowerPoint presentation of yesterday, right? Vamos a repasar un poquito. El PowerPoint que 
vimos ayer, pero antes vamos a ver los ejemplos que nos han puesto acá. Practices. Uh, do you like bachata? No, I don't like. Like it. Aquí nos faltó el object pronoun, ¿verdad? I don't like it very much. Uh -huh. Aquí nos faltó una comita. La mayúscula de I. Y el it, right? Y un puntito acá. Now, what kind of instrument do you like? I like the drum. That's okay. So we have two questions. Lo importante aquí es que las preguntas las ha hecho muy bien. Do you like bachata? And what kind of instrument do you like? That's it. Yes, no question. Information question. Verónica. Verónica López. That's nice, Verónica. Let me see. Do you like pop? Yes, I do. I like pop. What kind of musical instrument do you like? I like guitar. Very good. Congratulations, Verónica. Coma. Period, puso aquí puntos y comas y todo lo demás. Congratulations. Y las dos preguntas están bien elaboradas, bien bonitas. Do you like pop? What kind of musical instrument do you like? Okay. And then uh, we have another, right? Tenemos aquí otro alumno, no puso el nombre, pero me imagino que es del grupo. Do you like reggaeton? Mm. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. It, right? No faltó aquí el object pronoun. I don't like it very much. No way. Como diríamos en buen español, no fregué, ¿verdad? No way. Ok. What does he play? He plays the flute and violin. The flute and violin. Ok. Yes, no question, information question. Rocío. Rocío Flores. That's nice. What does she like to eat? Eat pizza. Ok. Excellent question. Me gusta esta pregunta. Solo que aquí comenzó con minúscula, ¿verdad, Rocío? Ok, ya se mal. Do you play soccer? No, I don't like to play soccer. Sí, me imagino que a Rocío no le gusta mucho jugar fútbol, pero... Está bien, las dos preguntas están bien. I like it. Rocío, thank you for your commentary. Thank you very much. That's it. Hoy siento que vamos mejorando en los comentarios. Vamos... Mejorando en, en participación. Okay, thank you, thank you for your comment. Right now, I'm going to share you. Uh, I'm going to share you. Uh, let me see. Uh, a PowerPoint presentation. Just give me a second. I will look for it. Uh, okay, I am, I am opening the presentation. Right, yesterday, right. Okay, let me see. Opening, opening, opening. Good. Yes, I have it. Now I will share with you. <laughs> let me see here, right? Okay. Can you see my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Hello? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Thank yes, you. teacher. Thank I you. can see you. Thank you. Now. Here we have the yes, no question. I can see. Thank you, thank you. Now, listen, we're going to practice the intonation, intonation of yes, no question, and the intonation of yes, no question. Listen, pay attention, please. I say, are you a student? Okay. Let yes, me, I am. Let, let me show you something. Like, when I say, are you a student, the intonation goes up. Like a, like a plane, right? The intonation goes up or is a raising intonation. Una intonación que va hacia arriba. So, example. Are you a student? Can you speak English? Do you live in San Salvador? Up. Raising intonation, right? Okay, now. Comparison, information. What is my pencil? What can you do? <laughs> when can you come? Okay, now see the difference? Yes, no questions are up. And information questions are down. Up and down. Up and down, right? 
Raising up, falling down, right? Huh? Okay, that's the difference, right? Now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Are you a student? Can you speak English? Do you live in San Salvador? Information question. Where is my pencil? What can you do? When can you come? So in this case, it's falling, right? Let me see if we practice. If we can practice. Now, let me see. Uh, Larissa, please repeat the yes, no question. Are you a student? Please repeat. Okay. Are you a student? Good. Thank you. Mauricio Perez. Are you a student? Thank you. Thank you, you Larissa. Speak, Mauricio Perez, please. Can you speak? Can you, can you speak English? Excellent. <laughs> Cristina. Do you leave? Uh -huh. Come on, repeat, Cristina. Uh, do you live in San Salvador? Okay, do you live in San Salvador? Right? Good, now, next one. Let me see, uh, where is my pencil, right? Dinora, please. Where is my pencil? Okay, where is my pencil? Uh -huh. Down, where right, Dinora? My... Thank you, now. Uh, Silvia, please. Silvia, what can you do? Huh? Silvia? Excuse me, teacher. Excuse me, teacher. Repeat, please, repeat. What can you do? Huh? What can you do? What can you do? Okay, down, right? Falling. Down, right? Okay. Marvin Lue. The last question, Marvin. Hey. What can you do? No, no, no. The next. When can you? Ah. When can you come? Okay. Marvin, hoy se lo pronuncia bien, ¿verdad? Lube. Sí, hoy sí. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Marvin. Thank you. Now, let's continue, right? And we're going to see more examples, more examples. Look, here we have this structure. The yes, no question. Do you like pizza? Does he live in Metapan? Okay, Ricardo, please, Ricardo Vega. Repeat, do you live, do, sorry, do you like pizza? Do you like pizza? Excellent, thank you. And let me see, uh, Mauricio Alarcón. Does she live in Metapan? Does she live in Metapan? Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Rocio, please. Where do, sorry, give me that pal, like down. Give me a second. Okay, Rocio, where do they go on weekends? Where do they go on weekends? Okay, on weekends, you know? <whistles> on weekends, okay, good. Isabel, please. What does he like to eat? What does he like to eat? Okay, that's it, right? Thank you very much. Now, uh, we're going to finish one exercise. Ayer hicimos este ejercicio. Eh, algunos no sé si lo alcanzaron a copiar, pero lo vamos a hacer otra vez para que todos lo copien, right? Okay, now we're going to practice with this, this yes, no question, right? Now, please, uh, who's going to help me? Avi, please. Avi, help me with question number one. I'm talking about my brother, right? So, Avi, I use do or does? Does. Does. Does your brother? Does your brother drink coffee? Drink coffee? No, he doesn't. My brother drinks tea. Okay. Thank you. Now, um, Karen, please. Karen, number two. Listen, Karen, we answer with we, right? Respondemos con we. Entonces, la pregunta, ¿cuál sería? You, ¿verdad? Okay. Hola, hola. Okay. Now, please. Do or does, Karen? Eh, do. Do. 
do 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 we ahí sería you porque como estamos preguntando verdad ajá y respondemos ah, ¿no? sí. cuál sería el verbo Karen what is the verb ah uh, we uh, have have do you have children ajá uh -huh. that's it right now eh, Mirna please Yes, teacher. Ok. My parents. La, la pregunta sería your parents, ¿verdad, Mirna? ¿De ¿Cuál sería? Yes, teacher. Tú o das. Do. Do. Do your, do your parents. Mm -hmm. Do your parents. ¿Cuál sería el verbo? Live in San Salvador. Live in San Salvador, right? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Now, let me see. Quien no ha participado, creo que ha todos participado. Ok, so. Uh, Dinora, me va a terminar la última. Dinora, please help me. Number four, please. Sí, my yeah. son, right? My son. The subject is my son. So, what is the question? Dinora. Das. Does he speak English? No, okay. Ah, yes, he. That's correct. He. Podemos decir he o podemos decir your son, ¿verdad? Ah, okay. Your son. ¿Cuál sería el verbo? You know, speak. Speak, right? Speak English. Does your son speak English? Good. Now, please, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. And remember the intonation, right? Is Ah, right now. Repeat after me. Does your brother drink coffee? Do you have children? Do your parents live in San Salvador? Does your son speak English? You see? All right. Now we're going to information question or establish question, right? Now, Josabeth, please. Question number one, Josabeth. He's a doctor. Oh. Él, él es un doctor. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a usar? What? What where, does... When? Sorry? What does your father do? Excellent. What does your father do? Thank you, Josabeth. Congratulations. That's nice, right? Now, um, Bobby, please. Number two. They live in Santa Ana. So Santana is what? It's a place, right? Where? Yes. Where? Thank you. Thank you, Josabeth. Where? Do or does? Do. Do your brothers? Live. Live. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, number three. Silvia, I love con ganas de contestar, Silvia. Come on, please. Number three. Every weekend, Silvia, every weekend is time, right? Time. Tick tock, tick tock. Time. So it's what, when, or where, Silvia? When, teacher. When. Thank you. When? Do you visit your Do parents? Do you visit? Nice. Your parents? Yes. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Estamos listos ahí. Karen Flores. Karen, please. She lives next to my house. So, Karen, is what, where, or, or when? What, where, or when? Karen. No le había escuchado mi nombre. Ah. Mi nombre. Yes. Ladies uh, and gentlemen, Karen Flores. <laughs> no, Karen. Uh, my house. She lives next to my house. Is a place. Is time. Is a thing. Is una cosa. Is next to my house. What, when, or where, Karen? Uh, When? When? Mm. Mm. No, when is the time, right? 
Um, my house, next to my house. Um, okay, se la vamos a poner fácil. What or where? When? No, no, listen. What or where? Ah, uh, eh, where? Where, excellent. Now, where do or where does your sister? Eh, does. Does. Excellent. And what is the verb? ¿Cuál es el verbo? Do. Mm, she lives. Ah, she lives. She live, live. She, right? Live without an S, right? Sí, la S, ¿verdad? Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, repeat after me, please. And remember the intonation. The intonation is down, right? Down. Now, repeat. What does your father do? Where do your brothers live? When do you visit your parents? Where does your sister live? Okay, that's it, right? Now this is the PowerPoint presentation. Just, just give me a second. Okay, okie dokie. Let me share the platform right now we're going to see the platform okay now so before we go to the exercises in the platform we're going to check the knowledge the knowledge check right knowledge check this time i will explain right how to do it right okay listen please Read the following sentences and complete by using do, does, don't, doesn't, or object pronoun, right? Good. Eh, ya vimos que hay dos tipos de preguntas. Yes, no question, and information question. Creo que eso ya quedó bien claro, ¿verdad? Y ya vimos también que cuando es positivo usamos do o does, right? Si es pregunta. Y si es positivo, pues solo el verbo en presente, ¿verdad? Uh, ahora bien, en algunos casos se usan los de pronouns. Me, you, him, her, us, etcétera, etcétera. Entonces vamos a ver en qué casos aplica. Ok, pero antes de seguir, uh, quiero pedirles un gran favor, ¿verdad? Este, ya en la oficina me informaron que todavía algunos no han completado las secciones 1, 2 y 3. Entonces, así le ruego encarecidamente, le suplico que eh, terminemos esas secciones, ¿verdad? Y si hay preguntas, si hay alguna parte que no entiendan, pues ahí estoy yo a sus órdenes en el grupo, ¿verdad? Si, o si les da mucha pena, es decir, no, a mí me da pena en el grupo, pues a mano a ver, pues a mi grupo, a, perdón, a mi, a mi número personal, a my personal number, right? Ustedes pregunten, que yo, a mí me gusta responder, así es que háganlo. Como le repito, de preferencia en el grupo para que todos aprendamos. Pero si no se puede, pues, ¿verdad? Ahí pueden hacerlo inclusive en mi persona. ¿Ok? Eh, ya comenzamos la sección 4. Así es que entiendo yo que ya todos hicieron este, este ejercicio. 4.4, ¿right? No le check. Pero voy a explicar cómo hacerlo por si algunos todavía no lo han hecho. ¿Ok? Now, let's do it, ¿right? And in this case, you like science fiction movies. So it's a question, right? It's a question. Now, you have to say, bueno, es una pregunta de información. Es una pregunta de yes, no. ¿Mm? Aquí se me pueden responder. Yes, no, o information question. What do you think? What is your opinion? Yes, no questions. Yes, no question. Okay, good. Now you're going to use do or does it? No me, ese ya no me lo respondan. <laughs> okay, porque aquí está you, ¿verdad? Okay. So you are going to complete. Uh, solo quiero hacer una pregunta. Alguien que lo haya hecho. Este, ¿Hay que escribir toda la pregunta o solo el auxiliar? En la primera solo el auxiliar. Solo el auxiliar, okay. 
So, thank you very much. Thank you, Ricardo. Okay, let's continue. Ah, okay. Number two, no. No, I don't or no, I doesn't. You tell me, right? No, I don't or no, I doesn't. No, I don't. Uh, it says, I don't like. Como estamos hablando de science fiction. Science fiction movies. Singular or plural? Plural. Plural, right? In singular, we use it. In plural, we use them, right? Mm -hmm. so, ¿Cómo decimos, por ejemplo, que no me gustan los mangos? Bueno, sí me gustan. I don't like them, right? I don't like them. No me gustan los mangos. Um, ¿Y cómo decimos no me gusta la papaya? I don't like it. Okay, singular and plural, right? So we're talking about movies. Now you know how to answer, right? Number four, Jake and Lisa like soap operas. Oh, I hate soap operas. Novela, right? Soap operas. So do or does, okay? Jake, do or Jake does? You know, right? But I don't know about Lisa, right? Está diciendo que a Jake uh, sí le gustan, right? pero uh, de Lisa pues no se sabe. Ok? So Jake do or Jake does? Okay. No. No, 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 no. It's a secret, right? <laughs> Recuerden que no vamos a la respuesta. Okay? Oh, good. No, why don't you ask? Ah, ok. Como Lisa es la que de Lisa estamos hablando, ¿cuál es el object pronoun para ella? Le voy a dar dos y ustedes deciden cuál, pero no me lo digan. Him or her. Ok. Recuérdense que him es para ella y her es para ella. Ok. Now, what kind of music do or does? Noriko and Ethan. Ethan, right? Este se llama como el de Misión Imposible, Ethan. Ok. Noriko and Ethan. Singular or plural? Do or does? Ok, you answer, right? Number eight. What does or what do he play? Number nine. The cello. The cello. I have his new CD. Okay, I have his new CD. Let's listen to. Ah, como solo es un CD. ¿Cuál es el, el otro pronombre que vamos a poner acá? Okay, es una pregunta retórica. No me copies de nuevo. Okay. Now, after let's listen to Andrea Bocelli. I love. After, let's listen to Andrea Bocelli. I love. Andrea Bocelli entiendo que es un hombre, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí va a poner el otro pronoun para un él. Para un hombre. Sí, es así. It's, it's a man, right? Andrea Bocelli es un tenor. Yes, it's a, it's a him. It's a tenor. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Ok, but it's a man, right? Sorry. <laughs> ok, he's the best. Ok. Eh, este Andrea Bocelli que no es el que canta con YouTube. No, Andrea Bocelli es opera. Opera. Music. Uh, yes. no, no, pero hay un cantante que. que... No, quien, can, quien cantó con, you, con YouTube fue. Es este... Pavarotti. Pavarotti. Ah, Pavarotti. Pavarotti. Ya falleció Pavarotti. Sí, es Pavarotti. Sí. Yes, eh... Andrea Bocelli y and Pavarotti are eh, Italian music. Italian, oh. Music men. Excelente. La ragazza mangiare la pizza y mangiare el gelato en la pieta de la novona. <laughs> Italian, right? Good. Yes, so, Italian I, singer. Oh, I, I love him or I love her. I don't know. You tell me, right? Okay, so this is the, this is the, the, the knowledge check, right? Okay, good. Now, let's go to the class. Let's see, vamos a terminar la clase con estos videos. Pronunciation. Pay attention, please. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. 
In this lesson, participants will listen, notice, and use intonation in questions. Pronunciation. Intonation in questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Yes-no questions usually have rising intonation. Uh, when I, when the, the, the woman says rise in intonation is up, right? Rise, up. Okay, continue. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Falling is down, down. Rising, up. And falling is down. Okay? Now, look at the arrow. Veamos la flechita acá. Y acá. Okay? Now, listen. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Again, do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay, now. Okay, so now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice asking these questions. Try to do your best. Remember, rising and falling intonation is important. Okay, listen, now we're going to do something. Listen, it's easy, right? You have your telephone with you, right? Me imagino que todos tienen teléfono. So uh, there, is a, there is a part, right, where you, you can record your voice. In my cell phone, there is a, an app, an application, que se llama Nota de Voz, right? So I don't know if you can see it. Nota de Voz. So you open and you record your voice. So you're going to practice this. Uh, rising intonation and falling intonation, right? Listen, do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? What problems do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Okay, so you're going to make this, right? It's a personal exercise. It's an exercise personal. Now, let me see. Vamos a ver si hay... Oh, okay, como no es... No es uh, de dar comentarios, sino una práctica personal, pues aquí no, no hay comentarios, entiendo yo, okay? Good. So, any question? Uh, teacher. Yes, tell me. En uh, la uh, última pregunta dice, which musical instruments do you play? Mm -hmm. eh, o sea, yo entiendo de que sigue la misma estructura, solo que al principio tiene como agregado musical instruments, como al principio. Yes, yes, yes. Es como cuando usted dice, how often, con frecuencia, o how many times, o cuántas veces, ¿ah? Quiere decir que las, eh, las preguntas de información a veces va a llegar, va a ir acompañado de otras cosas. Por ejemplo, aquí, mire. What programs? Este programs es un común agregado, ¿no? Porque no lo podemos decir, what, what do you like, right? Sino que es como que nos especificamos más. ¿sí? Igual en, en la musical instrument. Es una, un pequeño agregado que le hacemos al, al WH Word. Pero de ahí sigue la estructura, mire. Do... You play auxiliary subject and verb, right? Igual acabe. What programs? Y después de programs sigue la, la pregunta normal, right? Do you like? Aquí está otro, es videos. Ok, entonces esos son como agregados. Que pueden variar de acuerdo a lo que usted específicamente está preguntando. Por ejemplo, si yo le, diría, le preguntara a usted qué, qué, qué clase de pupusa le gusta comer, ¿verdad? Si las... La, las las mix, la revuelta, right? Las cheese o las eh, beans and cheese, right? <ríe> la pregunta sería, what kind of pupusas? Y ahí va la pregunta, do you like? ¿Eh? ¿Él responde eso a su pregunta? Eh, sí, 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 entiendo. I understand. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Good. So, any extra question? ¿Alguna otra preguntita por ahí? Ok, so let's go to the last exercise for tonight. The last exercise for tonight. Who's my date? 
¿Quién es mi cita? Right? Ok. Bueno, aquí los que ya estamos casados, pues todavía podemos tener cita con, bueno, con mi esposa, ¿verdad? Y ustedes con esposos y esposas todavía se puede. Y los que están solteritos, pues, dichosos. Who's my date? ¿Quién es mi cita? Listen to four people on a TV game show. Oh, it's a TV game show, right? Three men want to invite Linda on a date. Tres chicos quieren invitar a Linda a salir, ¿verdad? What kinds of things do they like? What kind of things does Linda like? ¿Qué cosas le gustan a, a los tres chicos? ¿Y qué cosas le gustan también a Linda, right? Now, listen to the audio. And then we're going to answer classical, jazz, rock, and pop. Bill, right? What kind of movies does Bill like? Thrillers? The Panther, right? Western? Uh, you know, the Vaquero, right? Or horror? The horror and comedies. What kind of TV program does Bill like? So we have news program, the noticia, right? Talk shows. Eh, programas de entrevistas, ¿verdad? Entrevistas a la gente. Game shows, así como, um, ¿cómo se llama un programa que dan los domingos? Eh, domingo para todos, creo que todavía existe, ¿verdad? Game shows. Talk shows and game show, combination, right? What kind of music does John, okay, John, in this case, John, right? La, like, classical, rock, jazz, or pop. Uh, kind of movies, uh, TV programs. Now, Tony. Tony. Tony, right? And now, Linda. What kind of music does Linda like? What kind of movies? What kind of TV programs, right? Que solo nos faltó what kind of pupusas <laughs> does Linda like, right? Okay, good. Now we're going to listen, and then you're going to say, ah, okay, Bill, then uh, John, then Tony, and then Linda, right? Listen, right? Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> And now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay. Who's the best date? What do you think? What is your opinion? Luis, what do you think? John, Tony, or Bill? <laughs> John, creo. John, okay, he's coming his opinion, right? And Marvin is saying, right? Marvin is saying, me, me. <laughs> okay, good. Now we're going to listen again. 
And let's play, pay attention right carefully in the details. Again, and I will stop. Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Uh huh, do you hear? Okay. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? John, right? This time is John, isn't it? Well, I like jazz. Uh huh. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. Do you hear? How about you, Linda? Rock. Well, I like pop music. I don't. Okay, don't answer this rhetoric question. Okay. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, again. Okay. Now, let My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Movies, right? This is start with Bill. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. Mm hmm. Do you hear? Oh. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Mm hmm. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. Okay. And what about you, Linda? Linda. I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? TV program, right? Listen. To well, them. I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, oh, sorry. That, that was Bill, right? Sorry. Again, again. I really like horror films, too. And now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Okay, that was Bill. Now, John, John, listen to John. Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? Tony. I like game shows a lot. Uh-huh, again, Tony? Talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay, do you have any question? Teacher, I, I think anybody. <laughs> Anybody? What, what do you mean, anybody? And if, if everybody understand or everybody didn't understand? <laughs> everybody, understand or, or anybody, uh, anybody uh, come to Linda to dinner? <laughs> ah, I understand what you mean. Ah, I didn't know. Linda, right? A cenar. Okay, that's it, right? Good. Now, do you have questions? This exercise is easy, right? Easy, easy, right? Okay, good. So, if no questions, it's time to go. But uh, I will ask you again. Vamos a suplicar nuevamente. Si hay alguna pregunta en alguna sección en especial, pues eh, no hay problema. Ustedes pueden preguntar, ¿verdad? Este, o si algunos... En dado caso, les gusta avanzar a otras secciones, ¿verdad? Puede ser que algunos de ustedes ya están en la sección 5. Y quiere preguntarme, no hay problema, estoy a sus órdenes. Pero prefiero siempre el grupo, ¿verdad? Porque ahí todos escuchamos y todos aprendemos. Pero si no, pues también a mi personal, si no se puede. Eh, por ejemplo, Larisa, ¿hay alguna sección que usted le haya gustado en especial? No. No, no. No, no, no. Right now, no. Right now, no. Okay, nice. And Marvin? ¿Hay algún ejercicio que le haya costado o que todavía no haya terminado, Marvin? 
No yet. No yet. Ok, good. Nice. Y le vamos a preguntar a Dinora para terminar. Dinora, ¿hay algún ejercicio que usted no haya terminado o que, y que todavía tenga dudas o ya los terminó todo, Dinora? Eh, no he terminado todavía, teacher, ah. pero en lo que he hecho, todo, todo está claro. Todo está claro, vaya. Entonces, pero ya va llegando a la sección 3, ¿verdad, Dinora? Eh, sí. Sí, sí, va. Bueno, eso me alegra, ¿verdad? No, no tenga pena, ¿verdad? Que yo sé que a veces con el tiempo, pues, cuesta estar ahí practicando, pero sí tenemos que hacerlo, ¿verdad? Yo, yo le recomendaría más que todo el fin de semana, ¿verdad? Para que aprovechemos y, y, y terminemos todos los ejercicios y ya cuando vengan las clases, pues ya entendamos todo, ¿verdad? Y Mirna, ¿cómo le va con la plataforma? Plataforma, Mirna. Es difícil. Mirna. No, es no, todo va bien. Y sí, se dice. Todo bien, dice. Todo bien. Veo que usted le toca doble, ¿verdad, Mirna? Cuidar el TV ahí y estar trabajando en la plataforma. <risa> Sí. Encima le está fallando el internet a veces, ¿verdad? Pero hoy sí estuvo en toda la clase, así que... Sí, a veces está fallando. Sí, sí yo sé, ok. No. So, class, if no more questions, thank you very much. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Thank you, night. teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.